In this video we're going to continue to look at solving equations. This time specifically we're interested in equations that have unknowns on both sides. So take this one for example. We've got 3x's and 5x's, both on different sides of the equals signs. Now this is going to create a problem for us, so what we need to do is we need to get rid of the x's on one of the sides. Now the first thing I need to decide on is whether I'm going to get rid of the 5x or whether I'm going to get rid of the 3x. If I got rid of the 5x, then obviously it disappears on this side, and on this side, this 3x is, if I took 5 away from it, becomes a minus 2x. Now I don't really want to introduce too many negatives into this, so I'm going to do it the other way around. My first step is going to be subtract 3x from both sides. And that's going to get rid of the 3x here, so 3x take away 3x leaves me with nothing, and the 4 is unaffected. 5x's take away 3x's is positive 2x's and this part here is unaffected. So if you can see by subtracting 3x from both sides I've created or kept this as a positive term which is going to make the rest of the calculation easier for me. So my next step now is going to be to add 2 to both sides giving me 6 is equal to 2x and final step for a solution to divide by 2 giving me 3 equals x. Now don't get confused that it says 3 equals x, we're traditionally used to seeing it with x on the left hand side and the number that it's equal to on the right, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever, it's still saying exactly the same thing. Let's have a look at another example. So in this example, slightly more complicated by the fact that we've got a negative 2x to deal with. So let's have a look at our first step. What I'm going to do in this one is I've got a couple of options. I can either take away the 5x from both sides or, and be careful here, I can add 2x to both sides. Don't fall into the trap of thinking that you take away this 2. If you're not sure why, think about the question, what is negative 2 take away 2? It certainly doesn't become 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 2 to both sides. So plus 2x both sides. This is going to give me 16 and then my minus 2x plus 2x cancel each other out so they have disappeared from the left hand side and 5x plus 2x gives me 7x and the 2 is unaffected. From here it's a straightforward two step linear equation I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation giving me 14 is equal to 7x final step divide by 7 both sides giving me 2 is equal to x and again it doesn't matter that they're the other way around from each other. Okay this third and final example is one where I've introduced some brackets as well. So in the previous videos we looked at solving equations with brackets in them. This is very similar. Our first step is going to be to expand the brackets. So 4 times x gives me 4x and 4 times 3 gives me 12. This is equal to 2 times x which is 2x plus 2 times 11 which is 22. What I've now done is I've taken the brackets and I've expanded them so the brackets have disappeared and this line here now looks like the previous questions we were answering. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides giving me 2x plus 12 equals 22. Then my next step is going to be to subtract 12 from both sides of the equation giving me 10 on this side and just 2x over here. Final step is to divide by 2. Again I do this to both sides giving me x is equal to 5 as a final answer. Here are two questions to have a go at yourself. Pause the video here, hit play when you're ready for me to talk you through the answers. Good luck! OK, let's have a look at this one then. So 3x plus 5 equals 5x minus 3. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides, giving me 5 is equal to 2x minus 3. Then I'm going to add 3 to both sides, meaning that 8 is equal to 2x. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and i got my answer, x equals 4. In this question, I've got 5x minus 7 equals 2x plus 11, and I'm actually going to subtract 2x from both sides, 
and that's going to leave me with 3x minus 7 equals 11. Then I'm going to add 7 to both sides, giving me 3x equals 18. Final step to divide by 3, x equals 6. Here are two more questions for you to have a go at. Be careful with these, I've introduced some brackets as well, so these are quite tough problems. Pause the video here, hit play when you're ready for me to help you with the answers. OK, let's have a look at these then. So in the first one, I've got 4 times 3a, which is 12a. And I've got 4 times negative 4, which is going to give me a negative 16, or minus 16, as it looks like here. Then I've got 2 times 2a, which is 4a and 2 times 4 giving me an 8. Now again I need to get rid of my unknowns on one side so I'm going to get rid of the 4a I'm going to subtract 4a from this side giving me 8a minus 16 equals 8. Then I'm going to add 16 to both sides so I get 8a equals 24 then my final step divide 3 by 8 giving me a equals 3 as a final answer. In this second question, I'm going to expand the brackets to start. So 3 times 4b is 12b. 3 times 6 is 18. And that's equal to 4 times 2b, which is 8b. And 4 times 13, which is 52. Then I'm going to subtract 8b from both sides, giving me 4b plus 18 equals 52. Then I need to subtract 18 from both sides. So I'm going to get 4b equals 34. Then final step to divide through by 4 giving me b equals 8.5. Well done if you got those last set of questions correct.